Hi there, I'm Belger, and this is Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we blew up a bunch of supplies, but there are still more. Let's help Abraham derail the army's dinner plans. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston, I do. A man like you, or me, with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre revolution! Their energy is, 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 uh, is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Hey, yeah. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet these William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same oh. gang together, no, man, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. Andale! You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. 
In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. Vamos! I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say, a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel low. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set off a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Young. This is the throwing knife. It's a great addition to our arsenal. And it kills people without alerting guards or soldiers to our presence. Unfortunately, its range is also small and affected by wind, so you need to get uncomfortably close sometimes. Cutting those supplies loose is really sticking it to the man. You go, John Marston. I sort of think this segment defeats the point of being silent for the rest of the way. But hey, Gatling gun. Ah! <laughs> 
What the hell is this? An armored car? Take a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. What are you waiting for? We need to get into that armored car. John's new nickname is El Rato, the cat. Take that, Irish. Come on, my friend. Get the hatch open. another gift for us is it soldiers I bet it's soldiers ooh a safe this safe cracking mechanic is pretty neat the controller will rumble when the right number is near it's pretty hard to screw up Nice. 200 bucks and a new revolver. Thanks, Yende. This is a great day for the revolution. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need.
Well, that's it for today. Join me next time as we overthrow the shackles of ruthless oppression.